Inside this building on the sixth floor is the office of Ghana's most powerful female politician. Hannah Tete is the country's foreign minister. She's only the second woman to ever hold the post. A barrister by training, in her early 30s her father suggested she should try politics and run to be the local member of parliament. I realised that for a very long time my opponents didn't take me seriously. They didn't think I could win the election. They didn't think that I had been able to put together a campaign. They basically they didn't give me time of day. And so, you know, when you have you come from a, a background of such very low expectations and the people around you think, well, you know, she's here and she's doing her best, but it may or may not work. It's an interesting place to be because people also then tend to underestimate you. But she proved her doubters wrong. Tete became an MP in 2000 and then trade and industry minister in 2009. Four years later, under President John Dramani Mahama, she was sworn in as foreign minister. She says being a woman does make a difference. I think that generally for women, you have to prove yourself every day. Because you're not given the same, you're not cut slack in the same way. And in order to continuously stay in a senior position, you have to be constantly able to demonstrate that you can do the job. I feel that there's this constant need to be able to prove yourself, and it's something that you do on a continuous basis. You can never take where you are or what you are for granted. That has been my experience. There are more women than ever occupying top jobs in the Ghanaian government. But like the majority of countries across West Africa, there's never been a woman president here in Ghana. Is that something that the foreign minister could see changing anytime soon? We have a society that is still in very many ways conservative and traditional and is gradually becoming more and more accepting of women having leadership roles but not entirely and completely accepting of having a woman in the number one leadership position. I think that that whole idea will take a bit more work and a bit more effort. But for every woman who is able to assume a position, and doesn't necessarily have to be at the level of government, within businesses, within um, social establishments, within educational institutions, within religious organizations, the more and more women you have rising, the nearer we are to that um, outcome. But it will take a while. But in the meantime, she has this message for young women who want to emulate her success. You are as equal as you think you are. You, whatever you, you want to be, you first have to visualize it and believe in it yourself. Because if you don't, nobody else will. Katarina Vatotsi, CCTV, Accra.